Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Guys. welcome back to my channel, welcome back to, uh, Endless Space 2, my god. Wait, hold on. Excuse me. Oh, you know what was happened? I did not save at the end of the last episode. Ooh. <laughs> Please tell me that this is at the end of the last round. Please. So it's actually been a few days since I played Endless Space. And I really missed it. Like, really missed it. But since I was so involved in everything that was going on, it's not the type of game that you, like, really forget what was happening. Because you just you just spend so much time. It's like if you forgot, like, what your plant in the other room looked like. Or what you had on your bookshelf, you know? Like, you, you know exactly what you were doing. Because I spent so much time, you know, just... D d expanding and, and improving and creating my empire here. It seems like it's at the beginning of the last turn. So we actually have a chance to maybe better handle this uh, this ground battle that ended up with most of my, my units dying. So I'm, I think maybe preemptive bombing? Wait, let me see. Invading troops, negative twenty percent damage done to defenders during ground battle. I don't like that. Blitz. I think I went blitz because I thought that we had. I thought this was significantly more, but I suppose it's not. So we'll we'll do preemptive bombing. I'm just hoping for the best here. Come on, hit him, hit him. It's right on him. Slice him, slice, dice him, shoot him. Oh, oh. What is that ability they have that just like, they eat me? Why does this not ever go well? I don't understand. Um, whoa, 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 where is this? Oh yeah, this was a reaper fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do... Wait. Minor defeat. Alright. Uh, we will watch this. We will go into advanced. And we will do... Look at that strength. Look at that! That's not good, though. Mm. Mm. It's still okay. I mean, we're, we'll, we'll definitely win very easily. Wait, what were the free controls? Uh, or free camera controls for for battles? Kind of forgot. Hold on. No, I pressed escape, which 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 left the thing. I wanted to go into settings to look at the controls again. We can rewatch it if you want. And I do want. <laughs> I love the space wars in this. Space battles. How do you... how do you change... uh-huh. Where is... Oh man, look at these floating islands. It's beautiful. Where is he? Oh, he's right there. That's him. Zoom out. Zoom out. Where are we? There we go, I'm doing a much better job at controlling the camera here. Because I want to see how we freaking pelt this guy. We don't have like very cool and flashy weaponry yet. Like ginormous torpedoes or like drones and things like that. What 
Wait, where is this? Right. Where are we sending... Uh, oh man, you're going over there? You're not supposed to. Yeah. So who is it between? Prowlers? Because of pirates. We had a battleship go there. Yeah. So you just retreat. Oh, that's gonna destroy you. Alright, just fight it then. We don't need to watch it. Just fight. Deal tiniest bit of damage to them, I, I suppose. That's all you're capable of. Uh, unfortunately, you're gonna have to get close to them, which sucks. But I want you to definitely retreat. Really? That was 60%? I thought I was more than 60%. That's fine. That's fine. Um, you know what that means. We're gonna have to make another settler here. Publishing collection bonus came from... Oh man, 20. Right, 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 right. Okay, cool. And then... What do we have here? Wait, this is new. This is new because this game is, you know, randomly generated. So the new industrialist movement on Ava is causing more problems than you would like. Apparently some political organizations have been uh, spearheading a civ civilian movement to tear down the old, destroying valuable cultural monuments and priceless artifacts in an attempt to usher in a new industrial era. If this is allowed to continue, in intellectualism and innovation on Ava will be crippled for decades to come. Still, the near uh, fanatical energy of this movement is doing wonders for the systems industry. What will you do? Um, this only affects systems on Ava. How is Ava doing right now? Ava. 50% content. How's the situation here? One colonized planet, I see. Um, we have... No system enhancements here, I'm assuming because we decided to be cautious. Um, I should definitely do Cerebral Reality, this is, this is a must. I'm actually surprised this wasn't done. Because this one doesn't have up upkeep, and it only helps us here. So now you guys are... You're not even, like, scientists. Nobody cares. You're like militarists, pacifists, and in the industrialists. I'm sorry, I just don't care about your system here, I suppose. Like, yeah, sure. Negative 20? Yeah. It's like you're not even producing that much science for me either, that's the thing. Or at least weren't before this turn zero. Population again, he shows. Oh man, he shows are about to dominate this system. I'm assuming you guys aren't entirely happy because the leading political party is not industrialists here. Uh, where's the... There it is. Yeah. Uh, you guys are very militarist people. I think we need to send all of these guys to another planet. They do well on sterile. We can also send them over here. And then return a bunch of... Or not even return a bunch of my people. Because we can't really do that. Unless we create another spaceport. But we can send these guys out of this system. At the cost of... You know, a hit to our... Productions and whatnot. Or I can just put them here. Although this will have... Consequences. Negative eight per population, as far as uh, 
approval rating goes, but then at the same time you get plus three per population because of the anomalies here. Like low gravity. Mmm. Tough situation. I don't know. I might ship out the... The Heisho out of my system and just let, let the system be further populated by Imperials. Which I'm actually surprised to not find more. What did I do to them? Where did I ship them? Did I ship out any of my Imperials? I think I did, didn't I? If Inkais can only remember how to get his populations. Imperials. Can I get an overview of where you are in my systems? Like maybe like this? No. Um... I'll just go system to system, I suppose. Wait, Placidus has a lot of people on this. Yeah, there's some here. They intentionally had that like that, right? Increased production. Let's keep it like that. Uh, Placidus Imperials. Dakol Imperials. Dude, Dakol is. Mm, I'm not sure about Dakol in about six turns. AI labor on hot and sterile. Damn, that is so expensive as far as upkeep goes. What is your approval rating here? 39. Oh. Yeah, I mean... Does level 2 modernization give you the spaceport? Because we're going to have to, like, ship out people. Like, we don't want people to be here. Especially with overpopulation penalties. This is going to be a... Nightmare. Um, well... Hold on. Here too, actually. Like, much sooner, in fact. But there's... Ah, these are all bad planets too. Ugh. I don't know, I might just let them get overpopulated. I don't know how much the penalty is. We'll have to see. This is a very good system. I think... <clears throat> See, I bet they're not happy because they don't have leading political parties either. Because they want... They want what? They want... Indust industrialism or eco? I I'm not sure. Anyway, so I think this is the end of the turn from last episode, basically. And we can uh, proceed. Yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna have to do preemptive bombing again. I mean, that's my only option here. Honestly, it's a better option. Because we have... We don't want our troops to gain 
or to get extra damage or take extra damage. We don't want. Yeah, we simply don't want. Like two of those options lead to that sort of scenario. Jesus Christ. Major defeat. Oh my god, these guys, dude. Oh, I also sent this guy back to, like, get his people, right? Repopulate. And you... I gave you... Well, let's give you this. And then... Population gain on Varen and Placidus. Cool. What are you? Escorts. Didn't I send the Corvettes out to do like a little bit of scouting somewhere? How long is it going to take you to get there? Six turns. Cool. Wait, why is this green? Wait, green are the cravers, dude. When did this happen? Wait a second, what? Excuse me? No, 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 Um, my dudes. Uh, you know what we're doing. Uh, give me my fifth protector's navy fleet. We are about to go and uh, deal with that situation in holy crap never mind can I undo what how long for you to get back Jesus I can't believe they're there how did they freaking get there dude you gotta come back I made a huge mistake. I made such a huge mistake. Damn. What the hell? Wait, they're not the same. That's like dark green. Who are they? I'm just checking my diplomatic relations with these people. Should I praise these guys again? Why not? And then you guys, do you guys need praise? Sure. I'm supposed to like, you know, make friends with other civilization. That's like the imperial way of thinking. some buyouts. What is this? This installation accelerates production rates via the application of dust in its many forms as currency, as complex nano machinery, and as an extension of willpower. Plus two per pl uh, plus two dust per uh, population on planets. Ten percent ship buyout reduction. Ten percent construction buyout reduction. Interesting. Interesting. Marketplace. Mercenaries and heroes, and uh, baking systems. In exchange for colony ship, 
And, oh, okay. I guess if we have, like, a very, very bad system, we could just destroy it, vacate it. So, of course, are the Living Plague, Part 1. Your scientists have detected a heavily damaged ship of unknown design entering your home system. The ship is unresponsive to hails, and sensors have detected that the engines are in critical overload, and it will soon self-destruct. Scanning the ship, you discover that it contains not only a dense computer core containing untold secrets, but also passengers in stasis who have been infected by an unknown plague. You can only save the core or the passengers before the ship explodes. If we save the inhabitants, what do we get? F industry and food, industry and science. Plus random technology. You'll need to increase your industry and science to create the special tools and machinery to extract the core here. Oh, once we produce this and that, then we get that reward. Um, where is this again? Kerr? Kerr. Hold on. We gotta take a look at Kerr. You guys are pretty much screwed. Fight your last fight. Look at my dudes. What dudes? Exactly. I shall not retreat. Um, and then eternal sunshine. Okay, cool. Then we had. Hold on. Car, 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 car. What is my production here? We want. It said either do science and industry or science and food. I think science and industry is a lot easier to do right now. You will need to increase, yes. How do we increase dust? How do we increase I mean, industry. And... And science. So we need how much again? 163 industry. 148... Um... Maybe food would have been a, an easier option here? Oops. Dude, how do we increase science here? I really should have done industry and food. <laughs> science was so close, I was like, yeah, we can, we can get there. Um... I, let's see if there's anything that gives us the ability to increase science. 25% increase on happy. We don't have happy. Oh. We have Hyperium. We can afford a 16 upkeep. I like that. What else do we have? Uh, I also want... Oh, we need to do one more research from this category before we can even get there. Hey, this works too. It is way more expensive. Eight upkeep for just that much science increase versus um, 16 for that much. Yeah. 
We'll do that. Um, I think we want to return from that a little faster, like that, maybe. And then, what is this one? What is that one? It's that one. What is this giving me? Yeah. I'm trying to go for the system modernization, I think, is what I was trying to do here. So, that can wait a tiny bit until we do this. I'd also like to increase my industry. If possible. How do we increase industry generation here? Economy and trade? No, it's probably under... It's gotta be under... Empire development, no? We're gonna be under economy and trade because it has like factories on it. Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Per planet. That'll do it. And it is a su suggested one. Dust generation, but gives us pacifistic sort of influence here. It's also pretty cool. Um, yeah, we need that. Also, put that here. Sure. And as soon as this is done, once our production of science increases, then, like, we will already do this research faster and finish it in fewer than eight turns, hopefully. And then that will allow us to then immediately pump some more industry into our system veins here. Who are you? What empire is this? Why have I not come across you? Is it because I haven't sent anybody over there? To see who the heck you are? Hmm. On Alva? Okay. What else? Cerebral Reality on Alva was made. Um, I think you guys are okay. Where is Alva, by the way? It is right there. Yeah, you, you guys are doing fine. I don't think you necessarily need anything else right now. Yeah, you're cool. Your movement gets much faster once you're out of uh, baryonic space, right? It should be. What the heck? What are you? It says pirates, but they're friendly? What? What? <laughs> Where did this go from? What? 
Wait, are they... Whose pirates are these? What? <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, are you uploading people onto these? Onto my ships, please. I need my manpower back. 36% per turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. And... Who is this? This is already done. Oh, no, we're getting attacked here. Oh, we're getting attacked here. Cordial. Sweet, 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 sweet. Minimize that. I need to check on these. The hive is not itself. We wish for a truce. I refuse. No truce. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to crush you. Wait, they're defeated? Meaning, are they done or are they just like submitting? Give me tribute. Technology stage unlocked in science and exploration quadrants. We have whoa, 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 whoa. Uncommon curiosities. More advanced probes with more power and wider spectrum for scanning as well as olfactory or olfactory, like smelling captors. Can reveal uncommon resources. Reveal curiosities of different uncommon luxuries. Support module ship evasion. Plus two percent. Intergalactic Technology Center, ITER. This vast complex of laboratories, excuse me, classrooms and offices is unique in the galaxy for bringing together experts and researchers to work together on challenging scientific and technological issues. A technological marvel in itself. The building promises enormous gains in scientific knowledge as well as practical applications. Plus ten percent science per system level. Um once per galaxy, they have 10% cost on technologies on technology cost. Be the first to build the Wander Intergalactic Technology Center. Huh? We're gonna make two trade companies. And we're gonna do that. Very soon. What is this? Political survey. Militarist is in the lead. Oh, jeez. No. Can we not do militarists, please? Um, yo. Take a bot, kappa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna check on these people. Um, I like it. I like it. Yeah, oh, well. You guys, you guys aren't there yet. Um, crap. I don't know who you are. I don't know your intentions. I... I don't know. Like, what does it mean that you were defeated? Like, in the war? Or... Are you just, like, what? a defeated civilization? Oh, I can declare war on you. But there's nothing else that I can do. So you right now you're just giving me 
How much again? 145.6 for 14 turns. I would love to go and address the issue here with my major fleet, but that would be a huge mistake. So I think what I want to do instead... Send my main fleet. You never know when they're gonna, like, start attacking you again. That's my fear. Like, I don't want them to, like, wage war on me when, I, when my dudes are gone. We're gonna send this guy down there, which is gonna take a million years, but... If we can actually start expanding in this direction as well, then we're gonna have so much more control on the, on the galaxy, but... I do also eventually want to see what's up here. I'm assuming another empire is putting pressure on the Cravers from another direction. Perhaps. When is the ship getting ready here? The Settler? One turn? Cool. 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 Three systems of level two or higher. We can totally do that. We just need to pick the best systems. I think Placidus deserves a level two modernization. And I don't believe we have the luxury resources to do it again on another one. Maybe. Hold on. How do we check that? Oh, we can. We totally can. What is this? We have so much super spuds. Can I sell any of my super spuds? No, because you can only sell like this stuff, right? Oh, wait, you can. You can. Sell 75 super spuds. And, uh... Now nah, we can sell more. Let's sell... Another 50. Let's hold 150. And then out of you, we'll do the same. We'll do... What is it? 91? Okay. That's fine. It's totally fine. I want to have dust. You know, I want to have a lot of dust. So if I go into situations where I need to pump a whole lot of money into... Oh my god. Yeah, I did do this, didn't I? If I want to pump a whole bunch of money into... Troops and ships and things like that, I have a few months before I go bankrupt, you know? Um... You guys like... What do you like? No, you guys are fine. You guys like sterile. You guys like... Fertile. You're on fertile. Enjoy. Enjoy life. You guys... Don't care where you are. Maybe we can just move you here. I'm just trying to avoid overpopulation. No, not five. One. And then once this is done, we can actually use the shuttle to send some of my people back. So this system requires or or deserves that modernization. Kerr already has it. Hmm. What is this? Magnetic field generator? 
This was the one that gave us science. Cool. Um. Wait, there's so much to like check out right now. And population in Imperials and Placidus. Cellar was made. If the cellar is made, then I can tow behind you. And hopefully not get attacked. No, we'll, we'll, we'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it. I'll wait until this guy's a little closer, and and takes care of a couple of battles before we send the settler in. Um, move your dudes. You're coming back. That's good. You? Well, what the heck? Are, who are you? Get out of here. Um, what else did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to check the the quest thingy here. Kerr needs to do 163, 134. So we're doing this, and. The intergalactic thingamajig. Yeah, I'll do it on, on my home planet. I don't mind. Plus 10% science per system level. There's a high religious impact. Maybe I should be making it somewhere where it's more religious. Or just do it on Kerr. Also check that out. Right after. Wait, this just takes one turn. Yeah, put it up here. Um, and then are there other anomalies that I can study in my present systems that I hadn't had a chance? Yes, one over here. And this one. And then any other flashing dots in my available systems? No. Okay, so you're gonna do that. Placidus is about to modernize. I think Dackel. Maybe. Modernize Dakhol or modernize Varen? Varen planets suck. What about Ava? Negative three for population, negative five for population. Holy moly. What about Tylus? Yeah, Tylus also sucks. Dakhol also sucks. God, Dackle. Negative eight, negative five. Jeez. I don't I don't know. I don't know where which system to choose. It's my third system to modernize. Cause I don't like the planets here. Uh they're they have way too many negative effects. I don't like this place either because it's just anomalies all over the place. 
Oh, jeez, that's my timer. Maybe wait until we take over this system. Because this place has... Negative three for deserts. This is neutral, basically, ultimately. This is... Also totally fine. Yeah, I think this could be a good system to do that, too. Have good dust income now. Happy about that. Expedition success on curve four. We got Adamantian Depot found there. And loot. So we found a reserve and load. And antimatter. Okay. So does that mean that we are not producing it? No, it's plus zero per turn. Yeah, we just found the, the load. Um, and then we have... Military ship prices increase. Rising tensions of the galaxy have led to increase in prices for military ships. Is okay. Okay. Placidus is modernized. We can actually send people away from Placidus, Placidus if you want. Which I don't think is necessary. Like, I don't even see any systems that really can afford extra population. We can terraform. What? Wait a sec. Wait a second. We want Kerr. Yeah. How much was it again? <laughs> 134. Sitting at 112. Per cold per population. Let's wait until this is done in three turns to decide whether we want to do this or not. Um. Yeah, I was looking at, like, capacities for planets and systems. Yeah, we can't really send anybody out to other planets. We're max capacity. We need to expand into better systems that are more suitable and hospitable. Not so hostile. Yeah, I think we can pass the turn. I don't think we need to do any more upgrades in any of these systems. We can also do this because we have so much titanium. We should do this. It's pacifist here. Eh. We'll do it like way after. Uh, we should also do it here. Nah, not enough population there. Maybe in Dakol or Tylus. Oh, don't.
Um, oh, cool. We want to do this on Placidus. You know that. You know it. Hold on, I wanna I wanna get to the system before I end the episode. And I wanna deal with the people here. Sweet! The Mavros are actually friendly now. And the Neris are cordial. I wonder what they give me. And we got population again of Calgaros and Imperials. Calgaros and Kerr, we don't have room for you, dudes. Get over here. And the Imperials. You need to be on fertile planets. Cool. So now let's go check on these guys, the Mavros. Why would we want this to go all the way through, right? Before assisting them and assimilating them. Right now they're giving us so much dust. I think the dust, all this profit that we have here is because of the fact that we have these relations, these really good relations with these uh, minor civilizations, which are really not to be taken lightly. They obviously provide a lot of manpower, a lot of resources. These guys are cordial now. They're providing all of that and science. You guys, not a whole lot of anything, really. But, you know, I still think you're cool. Wait, no one's here? They all left? Are you serious? Defend the system. Um, and then, what was the quest? Finders Keepers. Some per uh, Pixis has been recently a uh, flash burner. Yes, the dominance. Which, which, which one do we have to actually take over? Which, which one's a good planet over here? Let's take a look. We're probably going to take the jungle. Isn't hot? Why doesn't it show the negatives for approval rating? Are you saying that there there are no negatives here? It's a hot planet. That itself means that there's got to be negatives. Hmm. Hmm. Strange. All right, make a fleet out of that. Send it over here. How many turns? Just two. I'm glad that I didn't send this settler over when. This guy was, like, not there yet, or, like, not even halfway there yet, because who knows what was going to wait for us, or what was waiting for us on this other side here. Previously, it was, like, two fleets of pirates. Um, you dudes, see, I don't understand who you are and what you're doing there. Oh... Wait, why? Whose probe is that? Excuse me? Alien probe in my system? Excuse me? Yo, that's not cool, man. Get out of here.
Be content. Fortune <gasps> smiles. For Horatio is willing to speak with you. Are you the green, the dark green? They're hostile. <gasps> no! No! Your offensiveness drives Horatio to anger and distraction. I I went to that system as fast as I could have. They were probably already colonizing it, that's the thing. What? Um... Dude, the Horatios. They're like a freaking virus. They're penetrating all my systems here. This is disgusting. Wait, so is this... Do we lose this? No, he has an outpost. He doesn't have a colony. And he hasn't even taken the jungle. I'm gonna attack him. Can I bombard his outpost? Because I don't care about him. He can suck a fat D for all I care. Oh. We're going to want to do that very, very soon. They stole the Mavros from me, too. Disgusting. We're going to have to come back next episode and really address this issue of the Horatio invasion from the left side of the galaxy. Taking over here. Taking over here. They're probably about to, like, do some nasty stuff to, like, the other systems near me. They're stealing the Mavros right out from, like, under my feet, dude. This place is Red Sangan or Super Spuds and Titanium. I can't let them have this. Hell no. Well, anyway, for now, thank you so much for watching this episode. Make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video, please, as always. Yes? And uh, come back tomorrow for another episode of Endless Space. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.